A breast cancer diagnosis changes your life. When you get that diagnosis, your world is turned upside down. You go through a treatment, you manage through the various challenges and side effects, and eventually you reach the other side. Now you have finished your treatment, your interactions with the surgeon, oncologist, breast care nurses become less frequent. And before you know it, you are discharged back to the community. And this can be an especially difficult time. You have the space to reflect and think about what has happened so far. But the commonest thing I hear from those who have finished their treatment is the fear of the cancer coming back or the fear of recurrence. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. So firstly, are there things or strategies that we can do or adopt to minimize the risk of recurrence? Well, the aim of breast cancer treatment is just that, to minimize the risk of the cancer coming back. So we know that taking hormone treatment, if your cancer is hormone receptor positive, reduces the risk of recurrence by over 40%. If you have been recommended to have radiotherapy, that reduces the risk of recurrence. And we also know that chemotherapy reduces the risk of recurrence. And of course, as you know, breast cancer treatment is always tailored to the person's specific breast cancer type. And what is really exciting is the evidence about lifestyle changes that is continuing to emerge. And we know that this has proven to have positive effects on reducing the risk of cancer recurrence. And these include exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, as well as choosing a healthy diet and reducing alcohol intake. So what is a breast cancer recurrence? Well, a cancer recurrence happens when the breast cancer cells appear either around the original site or the operation site after surgery and treatment, or it appears in other parts of the body away from the original location. And broadly speaking, we can categorize it into three different types of recurrences. The first type is what we call local recurrence. And this is where the cancer returns around the original site of the previous cancer within the breast. Local recurrences occur after surgery, so that's either after a lumpectomy or breast conservation surgery, or after a mastectomy with or without reconstruction. The symptoms are usually a lump or a thickening within the breast or skin changes which may be new. And if you've had a mastectomy, you may notice skin nodules which appear quite close to the skin surface. And local recurrences are usually self-detected and that's why it's so important to be breast aware and to continue to examine your breast either after a lumpectomy or after a mastectomy. The second type of recurrence is known as regional recurrence. And this means that the cancer has returned in the lymph nodes or lymph glands close to where the original cancer was. These lymph nodes may either be in your armpit or axilla, above your collarbone or on the side of your neck. And they usually present as swellings. And the third type of recurrence is also known as distant recurrence or metastatic breast cancer, secondary breast cancer or stage 4 disease. So when you hear the word metastatic or secondary, what does that actually mean? Well essentially this means that the cancer has spread from the breast to another part of the body quite further away from where the original cancer was and it usually affects other organs within the body. Only a small percentage of patients actually present with metastatic disease Unfortunately, statistics are not collected for recurrences or when somebody develops metastatic disease, but the number is estimated to range between 20 to 30% of all existing breast cancers. So where are the common sites where breast cancer normally spreads to? Well, these are normally the lung, the liver, the bone, and the brain. And the symptoms that patients experience really does depend on where the cancer has spread to and what organ it is affecting. But I would say that there are five red flag symptoms that you need to look out for. If the lungs are affected, you may have a non-productive cough that's ongoing, sharp pain when breathing or shortness of breath. Liver symptoms could include a sensation of bloating, abdominal pain or discomfort, especially in the upper right hand side. Bone pain that is either a dull ache or a sharp pain that doesn't go away with no history of trauma. Brain symptoms may include dizziness and steadiness on the feet nausea, vomiting, visual disturbances, fatigue, and maybe even mood swings. 
And finally, spinal cord compression is a rare red flag symptom, but is one that needs to receive urgent attention should it be present. And the symptoms include severe lower back pain that doesn't go away, numbness or electrical shock sensations down the legs, weakness, difficulty using your arms or legs, um, if you have numbness in the area of the back passage, and really importantly, if you have inability to empty your bowel or bladder, or problems controlling your bowel or bladder. If you get any of these symptoms, then these need to be checked out straight away. Treatment of metastatic breast cancer is usually ongoing throughout the person's life. So the aim of the game is really to stay ahead of the cancer, which may become resistance to a certain type of treatment at some point. But, you know, after switching it to another kind of treatment, may well respond. Scans are usually undertaken throughout treatment to monitor progress and to see how the cancer is responding to treatment. Getting a diagnosis of a recurrence is understandably devastating, and all the emotions experienced at the time of first diagnosis return. However, recurrences happen, and if you have been diagnosed with a recurrence, it is important to understand that it is not your fault. The most important thing is that it has now been picked up and so treatment can begin. I hope this has been helpful. Leave any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.